review with discretion is that motherfucking vibes, girl. What's up, y'all? Today, we are going to talk about coming out the closet. A lot of you send me messages on YouTube asking me questions about, um, because I have a lot of young subscribers, and um, they ask me questions like that from time to time. And instead of answering the questions one by one, I would just make a video about it and address it as a whole. So let's get into it. Coming out the closet. Is there a right way of coming out the closet? No. I'm afraid not. There's no right way to come in out the closet. There's no right way to say I'm gay. You know what I'm saying? Because it is what it is. And, you know, hey, we had fun yesterday. Right? We did have fun. Oh, by the way, I'm gay. It's going to be the same motherfucking emotion as if you was telling them a different way. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the same emotion. It's going to be the same shock factor. It's not going to change whether they're happy, whether they're sad, whether they're mad, whether they're joyous, whether they're depressed. It's going to be the same reaction. And there's no right way of telling your parents or uh, another family member or friend. There's no right way of saying it. It's just saying it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it do it really doesn't depend on them. It depends on you. When you're ready to come out the closet, you will be ready. You know, someone messaged me the other day and said, uh, they said that, um, you know, I was raised in a religious household and she said that her parents are very strict or very into their religion, and sh she wasn't sure how to go about coming out the closet to them. Um, the advice I would give her is, or him, I'm not really sure of the gender of the person. <laughs> I forget. I'm sorry if I don't remember, but honey, the person that asked me the question, I will say. I will say that um, I would definitely, now this is opinion-based, so if you don't agree with my opinion, respectfully disagree and write in the comment box why you disagree. Don't come to my motherfucking video to my bitch. No, you don't know what the fuck you talk about. This is the way that she should do it or he should do it, blah, blah, blah. No, respectfully disagree and tell me why you disagree. I really understand and I respect what you say, but this is what I think about it. You know what I'm saying? In that type of way. So, what I would do is definitely wait until your situation is a little more independent because what happens is a lot of teenagers find themselves in the predicament where they're under the roof of their parents and their parents are paying for everything. They're paying for their education. They're paying for their food. They're paying for their clothes and everything. And they just have no sense of independence. And then they come out the closet and some of those parents will kick them out. You know, they're, you know, the kids end up on streets, you know, they end up doing other things that they have no business doing or because they were disowned by their parents. So to avoid that particular situation, I would definitely wait until you're a little bit more independent enough to where you're surviving on your own, when you don't need the financial support of your parents, then that would be one step closer to being ready to come out of the closet because there's no... um. You know, I'm. You, there's no one way ready. You know what I'm saying? There's no uh, right way to be ready. When you're ready, you're ready. You know what I'm saying? If you're ready to stop hiding, if you're ready to uh, um, be open about your life and your sexual life and your relationship status and not feeling the need to lie about your existence, then, you know, um, that's when you're ready. You know what I'm saying? But until then... Um, it, it's, you know, it's really up to you and there's no right way of coming out to your parents. There's just a, you know, it's just your way. Basically, I, is I, what I would say. There's no right way. There's your way. So, um, I would definitely, in that particular situation, I would definitely wait until you are a little bit more independent enough to, um, 
you know, let your parents know because, like I said, you you can't predict what your parents will think. You know what I'm saying? They might be there's some parents out there that might be okay with it. There's some parents out there that will not be okay with it. There's some parents out there who may get violent. There's some parents out there who may get depressed. There's some parents out there who may kick their child out the household. You know, you never know. You can never know. You know what I'm saying? And if her parents are very, very um, strict um, and very into their religion, chances are that they may, um, you know, force the child into some type of treatment um, to correct the illness is what they call it, the illness. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, that's how a lot of homosexuals become repressed because they fear the... Uh, uh, the dislove of their parents and they fear, um, you know, what's that word I'm looking for? They fear rejection from their loved ones and their friends or whatever. So they stay in the closet and I think a lot of them come from religious homes. So I would definitely wait until you're a little bit more independent. Um, if you find that you're not able to wait that long, if you find that you are, you want to come out now, then that is your decision. But just be aware that your parents, it can go either way. You know what I'm saying? They can be happy about it. They can be mad about it. You know, there's no right way of to do There's no right way. Well, if I tell him in the morning, I can tell him in the morning because he's just getting up. He hasn't had his coffee yet. And then he won't be in his right state of mind. So maybe I can tell him then versus, okay, well, I'll probably just tell him when he's wide alert, had his coffee, went to work, came home, now he's tired. I guess I'll tell him then. There's no right way. There's no right time of telling them because their emotions is going to change regardless. You know what I'm saying? So if they're happy, they're going to be go from happy to mad based on their character. If they, they're going to go from mad to happy based on their character, it's just, their opinion is just going to change all the same. It's not going to go one way because you decided to tell them at this time or that time, so it's going to go another way because it switches with their, their times of the day, whatever. I might not be making a lot of sense right now because I was just engaging in some extracurricular activity, if you will. <laughs> yes, Miss Honey, extracurricular, extracurricular. But yes, Miss Honey, um, I would definitely, you know, consider waiting. Um, but that's my opinion on that. On for you, um, just wait until you're ready. You know what I'm saying? If you are ready, then you are ready. Then there's nothing stopping you. If you're if you are, I, I think that someone is ready to come out of the closet if they are prepared to accept the consequences that come with that. You know what I'm saying? You said, because, you know, they go through the scenarios in their head. Well, you know what, what if I come out and then they do this? Or what if I come out and they do that? When you're willing to accept the consequences that come with the act of coming out, then I think you are ready. You know what I'm saying? Because then you are ready to deal with whatever comes with that, you know what I'm saying? Whether they, you know, be happy about it, you'll be prepared for that. They be mad about it, you'll be prepared for that. You know what I'm saying? It, when you're ready to accept the consequences is when you are ready to come out of the closet. And that's the best opinion I could give that particular person. But thank you for answering that question. And, um, you know, and that goes for anybody, really. That goes for anybody. When you are ready, when you are ready, when you are able to accept the consequences that come with an action, then you're, and that's with anything, you know what I'm saying? Before you make a decision, be ready to accept the consequences of your actions and then decide whether you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not saying go out there and murder people because obviously that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like in general, be ready to accept the kind. That's how you know you're ready to commit the act or do or make whatever decision you decide to make is when you're ready to accept the consequences of that decision. Then you are ready to make the decision. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. But um, yes, Miss Honey. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I never thought water could taste so good, girl. But yes, Miss Honey, yes, that's my, that's all I really have to say about that. Um, if you're not satisfied with that, then I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> that's my opinion on the subject, and um, you know, yes. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for listening to my babbling today. And hopefully I instilled some some type of wisdom and insight into the situation. And yes, I'll holla at you girls later. Mwah. <laughs> so thank God, boy.
you are pretty much amazing. And I called this number not expecting to get through, and to my surprise, I did. I'm on YouTube right now. I think my favorite video of yours is Sad Bitch Walk. Bitch, you gotta work. <laughs> Alright, well, goodbye. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm calling out of Brooklyn. I just left a message a little bit earlier, but I have to go back and leave another one because I just saw Chronicles of Steve O for the first time, and I love him. I do. I want to put him in my pocket. <laughs> He's so cute. He has the prettiest blue eyes ever, and I, I love him too. We need more Steve O, Pink Cup Boy. Come on now. Evo, make more appearances, because um, I, I was just cracking up and having a good time. And even though it's funny, you were speaking the truth on this Stop the Discrimination video. I felt everything you were saying. So, please, 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 we need more Chronicles of Steve-O. Love you guys. Bye. Hi, Pink Cup Boy. My name is Chrissy. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I just called to let you know, oh, my God, I love you so much. I thought it was one of your first few subscribers, and I just love you. Like, you're just a funny person that I would love to hang out with on a daily basis. Um, I just want to tell you, fuck the haters. Like what they got to say. They can all kick rocks. You will always have to as a subscriber in me, and, you know, we're going to rock it out till the end of time. So, once again, I love you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. I be sitting at my desk at my job, and they think I'm crazy, but they don't know that I ha I'm watching you on YouTube laughing with the earphones in my ear. Okay. So, I love you, honey. Just keep doing what you're doing, and I'll keep on watching. So, see you later. Yo, Pink Cup Boy, yo, I just figured you out, because you're like, bro, star hip-hop. Yo, you fucking go hard as hell. And you're gay? Yo, that's just classy as fuck. But all I want to say is you dope as fuck, and I'm trying to listen to your videos and shit. And, damn, since the dopest, like, you're the dopest gay guy I've probably ever known. <laughs> well, alright. Subscribe to you real quick.